Hello, hello! Today's video is a review for No Way Back. Hello, hello! Today we're delving into a romance read. Okay, now this is No Way Back by Kelly Florentina. Okay, um, this one, pick this one up off of Amazon. Um, Fun. So, in this one, we have our protagonist, all three, who um, gets dumped by her unreliable fiance Nick just days before their wedding. Okay, she's obviously a complete mess. She goes on holiday to Cyprus with her parents um, as a kind of way to like get over the whole thing. Um, but um, things just keep getting more and more complicated for her. Um, so she comes back um, and basically Nick has been in an accident. Um, she then feels guilty, um, thinks it's kind of her fault. Um, and at the same time, she's uh, met a new guy who she actually met when she was in Cyprus. Um, and then her parents, willing and dealing in amongst it all, have put them back together again. So. She's kind of seen this new guy, doesn't really know what to make of him. He's got his whole load of baggage with him as well. And then we have Nick, who she is obviously completely still in love with. I mean, she was about to marry the guy uh, not too much earlier uh, in this. So she's obviously still cut up about this. She, uh, she still doesn't know like the main, the big reason like why he called it off and stuff. So, you know, there's that going on as well. She has her best friends, a group um, of girls who are there and they're trying to like lift her back up. Some of them by supporting her and being like, oh, Nick's a jerk kind of thing. Um, and other ones who are trying to sort of soften the blow and be like, oh, you know, I'm sure Nick loved you really kind of thing. And, Maybe it's best for this new guy and, and stuff like that, but it's so, yeah, they have different ways of approaching it anyway. So, um, she basically has to decide what she's gonna do. I have to say, I am very pleased with the choice she makes at the end of this. Um, I think it's very important. I don't want to give spoilers, but I definitely think she made the right choice the end um, although I think she does need to um, have a closer look at her friendships um, along the way as well because I, I don't know I don't know there was there's some stuff in there that was like mm, I don't know not sure about that but I definitely I'm happy with the choices she makes at the end so uh, let's see a uh, few trigger warnings in this one, um, there is talk of miscarriages and adoption and topics like that that come up in it um, as well. There's, uh, what else is there? There's not really many other trick warnings other than that, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, there you go. Anyway, <laughs> sorry boys. Um, that is no way back. Hope you can see that, got some glare going on today with the camera, but that's no way back, no way back. And um, yeah, I gave this one a three star in the end. So it was quite enjoyable, um, not amazing. Couple of things irritated me about some of the characters. Aubrey felt like slapping her a few times during it, but then at the same time, kind of understand she's been messed around a lot. And so, um, yeah, it was it was a good read. Overall, it was a good read. So if you do like these kind of easy read romance things, um, this is good. This is good. And also, I think this is particularly a good book to read um, if you have been in a relationship that didn't work out. This would be a good one for you to read. Um, so anyway, yeah, 
that's that for today. If you've read this book, um, I would love to hear what your opinion was of it as well down in the comments below. Um, don't forget to hop over to my website, joelinstab.com and check out all the other bookish and blogging related content that I have going on over there as well. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads to the channel. Um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.